day. The competitors will be paired up and the first one across the finish line advances to the next round. Pepper and Kevin are our judges. So let's begin. First up, it's Spider-Man vs Captain America. Spider-Man didn't make it. Captain America goes through. What a shock already. Next, it's Iron Man vs Mesa. Oh no, Mater crashed! Unlucky, but Iron Man goes through. Holly Shiftwell vs Stormtrooper now. Oh, Darth Vader's come to watch his Stormtrooper race. I think the Stormtrooper won. Yes, Holly missed the posts. So the Stormtrooper's through. Angry Birds Corporal Pig vs Hulk now. The pig didn't make it, so Hulk goes through. It's McQueen vs Michelangelo. Oh, that was close. Judges? We need to see that in slow motion. It's so close. I think McQueen completely crossed the line first, but only just. Yet the judges say McQueen wins. What a race. Retractor vs Yoda now. Yeah. Yoda wins. Where's the tractor? Ah. Right. Hawkeye vs Professor Z now. Oh dear. Hawkeye won that by a mile. Unlucky. And finally, Wolverine vs Batman. Ooh, close race. Wolverine edged it though. So these are the winners of that round. Let's start the next round. Captain America vs Iron Man first. What a rivalry. Really close. Judges? Captain America wins. Oh no, what was that? Captain America's crashed. I don't think he can continue. Looks like Iron Man has to go through after all. Hulk vs Stormtrooper now. The Stormtrooper wins again. Hawkeye vs Wolverine next. Oh no, Wolverine crashed into the post. So Hawkeye goes through. Finally, it's Yoda vs McQueen. Ah, oh, Yoda crashed. McQueen won that race. So, we have our semi-finalists. Stormtrooper, Iron Man, Hawkeye and McQueen. Stormtrooper vs Iron Man first. Ooh, very close. Judges? Stormtrooper pipped Iron Man to the line. He's through to the final. And the other semi-final, McQueen vs Hawkeye. Oh no, the pressure got to Hawkeye and he crashed. So McQueen is into the final. So, it's a Stormtrooper versus McQueen. Who will be champion? McQueen crashed into the post. Stormtrooper wins! Darth Vader is over the moon. Well done Stormtrooper, you are the champion. Hi I'm Dave, and thanks for watching my video, here's another you may have missed. Percy was on his way to pick up a very important person. Why Percy I hear you ask? Well it's a long story. Sir Topham Hatt originally asked Spencer to go, but despite Thomas telling Spencer about how slippery and muddy the quarry route was, Spencer didn't listen. He slipped off the rails and got covered in mud, and had to return to get cleaned up. Unfortunately, the engine wash was being repaired, so Gordon was sent out. Gordon was quite careful to keep clean, and even sheltered from a storm. But although the rain had stopped, a mudslide fell on top of him. He returned to the sheds to find the engine wash still being repaired, or not as the case may be. Henry was then sent, but that naughty Tom Moss the prank engine had tampered with some signals 
causing Henry to crash into James. Percy just happened to be passing and Thomas asked him to take the royal coach and collect the very important person. And that's where we are now. Percy was nearing the coast and just had one tricky piece of track left. It was the area formerly known as Boulder Mountain, but the track there had collapsed a while back and a replacement had been built around the mountain and just over the rocks in the sea. Percy approached the sharp bend unaware that one side of the new rails had been washed away in the storm. He turned the bend, couldn't stop, but tipped up and took the bend on two wheels. How did he do that? Back with two rails, he tipped himself up right again and carried on as though nothing had happened. Well done, Percy. The very important person was waiting at the country station. It was Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. He liked coming to this part of Sodor for a holiday to get away from it all and was now on his way home. Percy approached and stopped. Prince Hans got on board and Percy left for Knapford station. There, Connor was waiting to take him back to the mainland and then onwards to the Southern Isles. The long bridge was easy for Percy and he had an unadventurous journey back to Knapford. There a crowd had gathered to see the prince. Knapford was a busy station. Percy pulled in. The prince got out and thanked Percy. The crowd cheered and Percy left. Prince Hans climbed aboard Connor and with more cheering, Connor left Knapford. What an eventful day!